Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of my series in which I'm building occult apartments in this haunted castle. This is actually the haunted castle shell by UV Sims and it was actually an official shell challenge. It was a contest on the Sims official Discord server and while the contest itself has already closed, you can still download it and you can still try it if you would be interested in that. And this is going to be the first time that I am building on the second floor of this castle and it's the second time I'm building with the life and death expansion pack. I've already built an apartment for a ghost using the more antique looking stuff from the new pack but I also wanted to add some of the life and death pack stuff to the second floor and I changed the roof texture and the doors here on the second floor. And I am going to be actually using the more modern stuff on this apartment. And I'm very excited about this one. I really love how the modern stuff looks in the darker swatches. But on this apartment, I really wanted a completely different vibe. So I went with the lighter color swatches on this one. So it's very white and also very colorful. I really wanted this to be for a funeral director and... A Grim Reaper, they are a couple and they have a toddler and so I was thinking that these people are very rich. So you will see that this apartment is very very expensive looking. Um, I really wanted to make sure that things like the counters and the new couches and all of those things would look like they belonged in here. So it really looks like these people are pretty rich. And it also seems very funny to me how one of them is working for death and the other one works for the family of the people who die. So it feels like there's some sort of conflict of interest in here. Um, so that's maybe why they are so rich. And I was thinking that maybe they could be spellcasters or some occult like that. I didn't really include anything specifically for any of these occults. I did include a tarot deck, but since the spellcasters are going to live next door and they're going to have a cauldron and the seance table, I just decided not to include it in here um, because they're going to be up on the turrets and I don't know if I'm going to make them closed off so that only the sims on the other apartment can access them. I will also upload this as a regular residential, so I will have both versions. But anyway, this kitchen is pretty white, green and red, or sort of pink. I'm using the new kitchen set from this new pack. Also the chairs are from there, but the table is from Lovestruck. And I, at first I didn't know what wallpaper to use, but I decided to use this one from Realm of Magic that has the pink and also a beautiful rock from the modern lux kit so it looks even more expensive because it's got gold accents and everything. I also decided to use the marble flooring from Love Struck and I decided to also have that in the bathrooms but I have it in a sort of wine color in the bathrooms and it's green in the kitchen and I just think that it looks so beautiful. I decided to just have it in the white in this living area just because otherwise it would have felt too intense but yeah I think that this this is a pretty large living space there is a living room a dining room and a bar I really love how the bar is kind of tucked into its own corner and next to it there's a door so that you can access the balcony so this really is a pretty spacious apartment and I also really like how this bar it's from Realm of Magic and it looks so perfect next to the paneling on the wall it definitely doesn't look modern but the wallpaper doesn't either, so I just I was very happy with how that looked, and I just added the coaches from the new pack, and I decided to match them to this rock from Love Struck because Love Struck and this pack are just perfect together. They really are so beautiful, and they have similar colors, similar styles, especially for the modern stuff. Although some of the older stuff from Love Struck also looks pretty nice next to these life and death things. And this bathroom set is so beautiful. Although I noticed that the sink and the bathtub do not have slots, which is a little bit annoying because I 
wasn't expecting to have to use the shelf trick um, pretty much ever again. Um, I hope they fix that. I don't... I guess they forgot. I have no idea why this is something that's happening. But yeah, this bathroom set is beautiful. I am using the toilet from Vampires because I am using that toilet in every one of these apartments. I actually forgot to add it into the ghost apartment and I just had a base game toilet in there, but I'm going to make sure to switch that out. Oh, and speaking of the other apartments, I have one for a family of vampires and one for werewolves. There's also the ghost apartment and next door we're going to have the spellcaster's apartment. That one is also going to be for a family and I'm going to have the, the playlist where you can watch all of those other apartments coming together. And uh, yeah, I'm just very happy to be building this one. I kind of wish that the castle itself wasn't so weird looking. Um, but that's just what you get when you do shell challenges. They are just going to look a bit strange. But I'm very happy with the result. And I was really glad with how the castle state kit and the life and death stuff look together. They are really quite a nice match. And... I think that all of the apartments that I have in this building are really nice for all of their occults. For the werewolf's apartment, I really wanted it to look like it was fancy and expensive. So all of the apartments in the ground floor have their own basements. And the basement is where that you can really see that the werewolves have like cells so that they can go on rampages inside of those cells and protect their stuff. The vampires also have like a crypt as the as was the ghost. And I just really like the idea of all of these sims pretending to be perfectly normal humans. And anytime anything weird happens, they all just blame the ghost. I just thought that was funny and I think that it would be a pretty fun place to play with your sims. Um, but anyway, I have now added a bunch of stuff into the living area and I actually started the office. I had a ladder that led into this turret, but since I wasn't going to have that be functional, I just wanted to have the new tent item, which is just a decoration. I decided that the ladder wasn't necessary, and I just liked it for the like storytelling element of maybe seeing clients on that turret, so that you can tell their fortunes. And the rooftop is actually accessible from the like hallway, there's a ladder that leads into that space, and I just think that it didn't need to be functional, although, as I mentioned, one of the turrets is going to have this Aeon stable, and it's going to be perfectly functional, so you could share that, or maybe you could eliminate that and include the Aeon stable if you preferred. Um, yeah. I also think that if you work for the Grim Reaper, you get some special abilities, so Sims aren't, like, really an occult. If they are reapers but they get a bunch of perks from that that are kind of supernatural so maybe these aren't spellcasters they are just um they're just special sims but anyway this office is also pretty modern and expensive i added the rewards from that career the funeral director career and the um on the undertaker career really because that's it has two branches one one of them is funeral director and the other one is mortician um, and I also made sure to add this statue of Horus from Paranormal, Asholo from Lovestruck, because these dogs are kind of a spiritual guide, so they lead souls into the afterlife. And I thought that it was a good idea to include one. I kind of struggled to pick one of the swatches that would look like it matched this area. But in the end, I was pretty happy with how that shelf area above the desk looks. And the desk is so pretty, as well as the chair. And I just have like some more storage and a bookshelf in there. Um, I think that's the simplest room in all of this apartment. But here in the primary bedroom, we have that new bed, the, the more modern version of it. The other one I have in the ghost's apartment. And I think that it is so beautiful. It's so pretty. It looks also so very nice with these rock that I am using in other places of this house. I also wanted to have the ottoman and the new table. I am also using a table from Paranormal because it matched pretty well. Also this mirror is from Modern Lux and it looks also really nice next to that closet from high school years. All of these colors look 
like they matched each other pretty well and I am adding the new the new lamp from Life and Death and I originally had that on the office as well but I decided to change the one in the office for the one from Lovestruck because it was a bit smaller. I don't show it but it's on the screenshots and I also came back to add the the hand from Paranormal and a clock so that it's there was a bit more going on on that room and then here in the nursery I am using this beautiful new toddler bed it's so cute and this swatch is just it's so beautiful I really love how that bed looks and I wished that there was a crib because there is a bassinet but there is no crib and I also would have really liked to have a single bed in this pack but yeah the this toddler bed is so pretty and perfect and I am using a combination of the toys and stuff from the new pack as well as the recent storybook nursery kit so I was very happy with how well they matched and yeah I am using this new bookcase also from Life and Death a uh, freezer bony from the new pack and the freezer bonies from the Reaper's Rewards event so those are base game and I also included a little Green Reaper toy and I think that it's really cute in that pastel swatch I also found the new death frog and I added it into the into the living room and I thought that worked a bit better because I also was able to move the gramophone that I had in there to a side table in that space and at some point I added a crow into the living space so there's a bunch of the new items on that area and this is going to be the shared bathroom this is shared by both of these bedrooms and I only included the tub in here because I already had the shower on the other one and this to me looks really luxurious this is very pretty and expensive I love how this wallpaper looks with this flooring and the swatch that I am using on the fixtures is so very pretty and I actually didn't show it either but I did add some curtains the black curtains from Modern Locks and I also added the rug from that pack I'm also using the new mirror and I also wanted to have a wastebasket and I added that beautiful hanging plant from Lovestroke as well as the toiletries from that pack and some other items on top of the shelving unit that I had sized down because it was a bit too bulky but I still really wanted to include it because it's new and it matches perfectly and it was so cute and then just a soap bottle and toothbrushes and those kind of essential items and um, I, I didn't mention it but I am using the doors from Strangerville which I think are super cute I have now added that grow as well as some wine bottles and I think that those look great on top of that bar and then we're moving on into this terrace I also found the journal at some point and I added it into the office and here in the in this area I just want to have a game table, a telescope and this I'm not sure if it's a blanket or a towel but you can use it to moon gaze and then I just wanted to finish this rooftop area I just added another game table, a grill, some seating and that kind of stuff also some of the items that I had already included in that in that terrace but I left some of these blank because I thought that it would it would be best so if you had any other activities that you wanted to include you could do that I'm going to have this on the gallery once I'm finished with it it's going to be under my ID which is very new and uh, I will also have that link down in the description so that if that's easier for you you can find it using the link um, I also really liked using these like corner benches from cats and dogs I almost never use them I use the indoor ones a lot but these like concrete ones I don't use as often and I was really happy to see that they fit perfectly in those areas I also really liked these um, these skylights that I have in here because the hallway had no natural lighting and I also felt that the apartment didn't have many windows in that living area so I was pretty happy with these skylights and they are just the, the living area so they it's not like a huge privacy concern 
and then I'm just going to be adding these beautiful string lights from the new pack. I struggled a bit because I couldn't fit them symmetrically, but I think that they look nice and I also added an easel in one of these corners and that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed it and that if you did that you will leave a like, which would really help the channel. Stay tuned for the last apartment in the series, I'm going to decorate that as well as the whole landscaping portion of this. Thank you again so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you again soon.